are thrilled to be reviewing a Moonshot. This is the KSCX, as you can see right here, it is very big. It comes in at 36 inches for us, though you can order it in a smaller size. The barrel is 2.75 inches, and that's it compared to a C271 Louisville, and that is a significantly larger barrel, a lot more surface to hit it off of. Moonshot touts themselves as the best ball or wiffle ball bat in the world, and we really wanted to check that out. So we set our fence to 100 feet, which is 10 feet longer than we typically do, and we went for it. We threw full bucket of ball, which for us is about 80 balls per person, to give it a really good look. As this bat costs $200 from the factory, we didn't want to shortchange anybody on our opinion, so we took quite a few swings with it. So this highlight reel is quite a bit longer than we typically make, just because we wanted to give it a fair shake. If we're, if we're testing a $200 bat, we better know what we're talking about. I threw Casey about 80 pitches, probably about 50 of them were for strikes, and he hit 13 of them at home run distance. Then I took some swings. This bat is a little heavier than say a Louisville C271, and that's because of its construction. With more mass you get more distance, however, I, for me it resulted in a little bit of a reduction in swing speed. I, I'm curious if it's just the size of the bat at 36 inches, this is a huge bat, so maybe a smaller bat and I'd get a little quicker bat head speed, but I, I, the swing speed change negated the mass for me. really unique feel to this bat because it's very thin walled but it's made of a seriously durable substance in carbon fiber and Kevlar. So we, what you kind of get is actually almost a bat that feels like it's made of paper that's been reinforced. It's a really interesting feel. Because it's 95 degrees and because there's quite a bit of humidity, we wanted to make sure we were swinging these bats in the same conditions, so we took swings immediately following the moonshot with these two bats. And what we noticed was this. There is far more consistency in the moonshot, and that's mostly due to the size of the barrel. There is a really big difference in barrel size between the moonshot and the Louisville or the Nerf Swerve. Because of that, you get a lot more pop off the bat for any swing, not just ones that you make good bat head contact with. The results with the Nerf Swerve were really similar to that of the Louisville C271. The moonshot was far more consistent. Again, because of the barrel size, you get a lot better contact with almost any swing. The Nerf Swerve, however, did hit our long ball of the day at about 125 feet, so that's something to consider when you're looking at the purchase price of a $15 bat versus a $200 bat. In the end, there's only so far that a ball can travel, but if you're into a consistent pop off the bat 
with most of your swings, the Moonshot was a clear winner. As I said previously, the longest ball we hit was the Nerf Swerve at 125 feet. We both agreed the most consistent bat was the Moonshot. I still prefer the Louisville because of its lighter weight and I have more swing speed. Casey though, he's all about the Moonshot now. Thanks for watching.